Hi, Sarah Banas here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to use a mock-up in Cricut Design Space. Uh, the purpose of mock-ups is so that you can show your potential customers or friends or anybody you're making for uh, what the design that you have come up with for them is going to look like on a product without actually making the product. Uh, it's also obviously for, you know, if you're promoting your projects, um, you know, whatever, in a storefront or whatever, digital storefront online, uh, and you want to show what, you know, what the designs will look like on the products, something like this. This is a mock-up for a basic tote. So, I mean, everybody, most totes look the same, so it's not going to matter as long as, you know, as long as you can show what your design looks like on a tote, you can reproduce that tote, right? I mean, totes are pretty much the same. Um, same thing with, you know, a lot of like t-shirts, you can get a lot of mock-ups for like Bella and Canvas t-shirts with, you know, everybody uses those for the soft shirts. Um, so let's go ahead here. I have uploaded the SVG of this. You, you know, you can also upload the PNG, whatever, you know, whichever file type you want to upload. So, and I'm going to link what I have used. This is actually in a bundle right now, in a mock-up bundle on design bundles. It's a huge bundle full of every kind of mock-up you can imagine. Um, and I'll go ahead and I will link that that bundle. Um, and I'll also link over here the plants that I've used. It's a really cool plant set that comes with these little snails. And um, this font right here, this font is uh, bottoms up. It's a new Emily Spadoni font, and I'll link that. And this watering can is actually in that font. It's in the extras in that font. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to use a mock-up and how to export it from uh, Design Space so that you can actually show it to people. So well, let's go ahead first. You can see that this is in front. We're going to want to click on that, make sure it's selected, go up to Arrange, and Send to Back. That's now your back layer. Okay, and I'll take this, Oops, and I'll first move this on here. Okay. And then put that right there, maybe make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'll take this, and I'll move this. Here, and I'll put this right here. And I'll take this one and I'll put this like that. And then you know, I just want to kind of. So I don't know anybody who's a new user who doesn't know this to select just the things that you want to work with in the project. Uh, select the first one and then. Control, press Control and then left click to select the next one. Same, move your pointer over. Control, left click, and it selects just those. So what I want to do with those is I want to select those three and I want to align. I want to align bottom so that they're all lined up nicely. And then I'll take this and this I actually so that I want to ungroup that. And let's take our cute little snail right here. Put this first guy right here. And then we'll take this one, and I actually, I'm going to flip that around. I'm going to flip that that way. And let's take him and put him right sideways. Okay, and then, oops, undo that, undo again, I don't know what I would do without the undo button on here, select those two, and I want to attach those together, because I like the way she has them set up, oops, I lost one of my snails, eh, what happened to my snail, oh, there it is. What are you doing over there? Put them right there. And I'll take these and I'll put these right here. Okay, so now you can see that I have the whole design set up how I want it to be, right? And 
now what I need to do now, I need to export this so that I can show, um, you know, potential customers what it's going to look like without, you know, obviously your average crafter does, or your average customer doesn't have design space. So you can't just send them a design space file. And, you know, obviously you can't export out of design space. Uh, is, you just can't, there's not really a way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a lot of people don't know this. It's a function. I'm on Windows 10. It's a function called snipping tool. You go to snip, go to snipping tool. And I don't know why it takes a really long time. I should have done this before I had to show you. For some reason, the snipping tool takes a really long time to come up. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just in... Maybe it's just because my computer is too overloaded with designs and programs and everything else you can possibly imagine taking up memory. So it's going to take a second to come up. I don't know if I like this guy here anyways. Should I put him? Maybe I should put him down at the bottom anyways. Maybe he should be a little bit smaller. He or she. I guess you do that. Then maybe move these over here. It's kind of cute. Okay, so let's leave it like that. Okay, so now my snipping tool is up. You can see right down here, this is my snipping tool. I'll click that. And now what I'll do, move over here, I'll click new. Okay, and then you see this right here. And I will left click, I want to do it all the way over here. And I'll left click. And I'll drag it around what I want. And that's the portion that I want right there. Okay. And then I will go to File, Save As, Desktop. ABC. ABC is my works in progress folder. So I will make that, we'll name that tote. Save. And now I can save that uh, snipping saves as a PNG file type. So now I can share that with anybody. Anybody can open up a PNG file. So that's it. That is how you use a uh, flat mockup in, um, in Cricut Design Space. If you have any questions at all, please ask them below. Uh, I will link all the products that I used. And have a good day.